students today i would like to introduce a new lesson fantastic chapter arithmetic sequence you will get around 30 or 40 mark in your sms examination so this lesson you have to learn two or three questions but without equation we can solve all the problems so we listen here arithmetic sequence before taking arithmetic sequence you have to know what is sequence sequence means numbers are arranged first second third etc in a specific row is sequence for example 1 2 3 etc is a sequence because a specific row is arranged again the next second one 1 4 9 16 etc is also a sequence because 1 means 1 square 4 means 2 square 3 square Four square. What will be the next number? Twenty-five part. Twenty-five. So it is five square. It is also a sequence. Okay. Then what is arithmetic sequence? That is all about. Let us do it. One example again. One, four, seven, ten, etc. One, four, seven, ten, etc. What is the difference? Difference of first and second number is three. Second and third number is also difference is three. Third and fourth is also three. Then what will be the next number? It will be surely is thirty, thirty, sixteen, nineteen, etc. This is an arithmetic sequence because a constant number is added one by one, one by one. That means difference of any two number is always constant or a fixed number. Such a sequence is known as arithmetic sequence, right? That is how we can uh, define it. In a sequence, that you have to say. In a sequence, each term is subtracted from its succeeding term. Means next term we get a constant number or a fixed number. Such a sequence is known as arithmetic sequence. Can you say one more example? We look here. Two, four, six. Eight, etc. It is also an arithmetic sequence because difference of two constant, two times is also a constant number. Again, what is the name of this constant number? It is known as common difference. In first question, common difference is three. In second question, common difference is two. Then, can you give me one more example? Suppose I am writing it four, 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 etc. Is it an arithmetic sequence or not? That's a confusion. This question. It is also an arithmetic sequence because difference of first two numbers is zero. Second and third is also different. Is zero. So constant. So common difference is zero. So it is an arithmetic sequence. The fourth example. That was forty, thirty-five, thirty, etc. There is a doubt in this question because in decreasing order, if it is decreasing or in this. If the difference of two number is same, then it will be an arithmetic sequence because forty plus negative five, forty plus negative five is thirty five. Next, thirty five plus negative five is equal to thirty. So minus one is added one by one. So this is also an arithmetic sequence with common difference negative five. So it will be decreasing or ascending order. It will be an arithmetic sequence. Okay, that is first question. Again, look here. The same example: one, four, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen, etc. What is the common difference? Common difference is denoted by small letter d. In this question, common difference is four minus one is equal to three. Is the common difference? Okay. You can take any two consecutive numbers. Thirteen and sixteen. Difference is three. Seven and ten. Difference is three. So common difference will not change. Otherwise, it is not arithmetic sequence. In this question, common difference is equal to three. So first term plus common difference is second term. First term plus common difference is second term. Second term plus common difference is third term. Third term plus common difference is fourth term. Like that. Similarly, fourth term minus common difference. 10 minus 3, that is 7. That is 30. Third term minus common difference is 4. Clear? So it is an arithmetic sequence. Common difference is difference of any two any two terms. 
fourth or third, fifth or fourth, like that. Okay. Then first first number is known as first tail. First tail. It is represented by either x1 or f. So first tail is either x1 or f. You can denote and common difference is 3. That is the first basic concept of arithmetic sequence. Now what is arithmetic sequence? If I define it. In a sequence, each day is subtracted from its succeeding or next day, we get a constant number. Such a sequence is known as arithmetic sequence. That's okay. Then second topic is we have to find out the algebraic form or nth day of an arithmetic sequence. That is the main important part. Nth day. Nth day or algebraic form. Suppose first day is x1 is equal to yes. Okay, that's okay. X2 means second day. First day x1, second day x2 is equal to first day plus common difference. Third, third day is equal to second day plus common difference. That means f plus d plus d is equal to 2d. Don't write d square. d plus d is equal to 2d. f plus 2d. Third day means f plus 2d. If third day, first day plus two times, not three times, first day plus two times common difference. Can you say what is x4? The same way. First day plus 4, so 4 minus 1. If it is 3, 3 minus 1, 2. If it is 4, 4 minus 1, 3d. Similarly, we can find all the numbers. Suppose x raised to 10. What will be that? x raised to 10. One of you. Okay, good. f plus 10 minus 1, that is 9d. Similarly, we can find all the things like this. Then what will be by n today? The common equation we have to know. Common. First day we have full, second day plus D, third day we have plus 3 D, plus 9 D. So X N is equal to similarly F plus fourth day 4 minus 1, 10th day 10 minus 1, nth day N minus 1 into D. This is the first equation. Nth day or nth day of arithmetic sequence is X N is equal to F plus n minus 1 into d, that one of the best equation. Without this equation, we can solve the problem. Again, 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 suppose we can open this bracket. f plus n into d, n d, 1 into d, d. So we can write d n. In slow n d, we can write d n. Plus f minus d. This is also algebraic form of arithmetic system. Both are same. In your textbook, it is written d n plus f minus d. You can study first one or second one. Again, one more form. form. Instead of this, you can write a n. Instead of common difference, a n plus f minus d, you can write b. So we can write a n plus d. So three forms for or different form or nth day of an arithmetic sequence. First one, f plus n d minus d. That means a f plus n minus d into d. Second form, dn plus f minus d. After arranging, instead of dn, we can write an, then plus f minus d means it is b. So from this algebraic form, we can find the common difference and first day directly. What is common difference? d is equal to common difference. What is first day? a plus b. This equation we can find the common difference and first day directly. Common difference means coefficient of n. Coefficient of n is a. So common difference is a. Sorry, a. And from this equation we can find the first day directly. That is a plus b. That is algebraic form of arithmetic sequence. Clear? That is okay. Then we can go.
or f minus a. F minus b, anything you can write, no problem. So you have to keep one equation R, either this one or a n plus b. This is the a, the easy one. x n is equal to a n plus b is the easy way. So what is a? a is common difference. So common difference d is equal to second term minus first term, or third minus uh, second, no problem. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Common difference of this sequence is 3. Then what is first term? F is equal to 1. So we can find by using this equation directly x10 is equal to a. a means common difference. It is 3. 3. What is n number of times? n is equal to 10. So 3 into 10 plus b means f minus a. f minus a means first day minus common difference. First day means 1. Common difference is 3. So 1 minus 3 is negative. Don't write 3 or that's wrong. F B means B is equal to first term minus common difference is B. Or if, if it is a tough one, you can use this formula no problem. Okay. Up 3 into 10, 30. 30 plus negative 2. 30 plus negative 2 is equal to 28 is 6 and 30. Again, one more example. Suppose they are asking. Suppose they are in 10th day. Second formula x is equal to again f plus n minus 1 degree. We can do two methods. Suppose they are asking 10, 30, 16, etc. They are asking what is first day same as 1, common difference is equal to 3. Suppose they are asking 6th day. We can apply this formula also. f plus first day 1 plus n minus 1, 6 minus 1. D, D is equal to 3. 1 plus 6 minus 1, 5 into 3. Again, there is a confusion from this question. There are two answers. First one, one, one is the correct answer, one will be wrong answer. Okay, so give it. Some terms are like this. 1 plus 5, 6. 6 into 3, 18. The other students, 5 into 3, 15. 15 plus 1, 16. There are two answers. So that's, that's a mistake in this table. 1 plus 5 and 3. Which one is correct? 18 or 16 is correct answer. Correct answer is 16. By using the international the rule or mass. Or mass. That means division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. After multiplication, you have to add it. So first step for 5 into 3, 15. 15 plus 1, 16 is the 6th day, you see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 16 is 6th day. So that is the day. Again, one more. Suppose they will give the algebraic form of the arithmetic sequence. Suppose they will give. Suppose algebraic form of an arithmetic sequence is equal to 3a plus 2. Then they will ask what will be its 10th day. What will be 10th day? So what is 6th day? Put n is equal to 10. Put n is equal to 10, you will get 10 today. So 3 into 10 plus 2 is equal to 30 plus 2. 32 is 10 today. Okay, 30 plus 2, 32 is 10 today. Then again one more question. Suppose A comma B comma C are 3 times of an arithmetic sequence. A, B, C are 3 times of an arithmetic sequence. Then how we can find out the middle term B? Middle term B is equal to First day plus last day by 2. That means A plus C by 2. Then we can find out the middle term. Suppose there are 5 terms. A, B, C, D, E. Then C is equal to, again, first day plus last day by 2. A plus E by 2. So middle term of sequence is first day plus last day by 2. Divided by 2. 
a b c are in arithmetic sequence will take b is equal to a plus c by 2 so a b and c b is equal to first day plus last day by 2 that is 66 by 2 is equal to 33 so second day is 33 then we have to find out the fourth day fourth day means third day plus common difference is fourth day so 33 what is the common difference 33 minus 24 Is equal to nine. The common difference is nine. So what will be the fourth day? Forty-two plus nine is equal to fifty-one. Is the correct answer? Okay. Are ready for this? So let us conclude the question. So what is the number of sequences? Each day means each day means subtracted from succeeding day we get a constant day number. So this is the number of sequences. Then what is the common difference? What is the algebraic form of the number of sequences in different cases? the how we can solve it okay then today i am going to conclude the portion so today itself you have to write from example from your textbook in next day we will continue okay so thank you